What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to Victoria 2 as Brazil. Last time we took out some more of Peru and some of Bolivia and uh, just waiting for our infamy to burn down and for research to finish and things like that. So let's just keep on going. Speed it up a little bit so progress actually happens. How's our infrastructure? We have railroads everywhere we can build them which is good. We're working on empiricalism just so we'll get some more research and then we'll work on I think I want to go for iron steamers because I want to increase our military by increasing our navy speaking of military I see that we are at 12 out of 15 so we need to be at uh, no not quite that ratio now I think we can do so with some more artillery in the army uh, these ones can all join up down here along with the engineer we'll get another husser and some more cannons but it's going down because we're buying the materials for our to actually build our troops, but it shouldn't take too long. There we go, a couple of days. We need more canned food. It's coming in, so no trouble there. This army, is it all formed up? I think it is. Actually, not quite. We haven't finished the engineers, that's why. That's looking good, though. This one is looking okay as well. I'm probably going to want to get some guards in there next. Maybe one more husser. Not sure. We'll see. For now, though, let's have a look at some other stuff. Ooh, ooh, hello. Alliance offer from the USA. Really? The USA wants an alliance offer. I think I see why. Because they're both competing. So we could choose either one. I'd take the USA, honestly. Also, we can click a button. So let's do that. Sign the Geneva Convention. Organization rate goes up, war exhaustion goes down, military spending goes down, but we lose one infamy. Means that we'd only be able to spend uh, this much. I think 90, is it? I think that's how much we'll be able to spend. Yeah, only be able to spend 90, but that's not bad. I mean, we lose one infamy, which is good. That's what, like, uh, nearly a full year off so that's good. It increases our organization rates. Uh, do we? I'm not sure. I'll hold off on signing the Geneva Convention for now. Although it is really tempting. Mm. I'm not sure. I wouldn't mind getting father la fatherland volunteers, but we do need to get uh, this research here, forget that. Fatherland volunteers is actually a very interesting one as well. Whoops. Yeah, as you can see there, we'll read it out actually when we actually um, click at the button. For now though, we'll ignore it. So we have an alliance with the USA now, which is quite nice. Um, apparently you've got what is that? France. England, well, Netherlands are at war. England, you're at war with, or oh, the United Kingdom as it is. Uh, France, sure thing. Well, how's the war looking over here? Argentina, why not? Diplomacy, France. France at war with the United Kingdom and Germany, and uh, France is on the side of Austria. And let me guess, America isn't interested. Didn't think so. Uh, who's the other great power? The Ottomans, I think it is? No, it's Spain. Spain and Belgium. Spain, Belgium and Russia. Hmm. So I think it's just a war between uh, these four. Yeah, it looks like it is. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder that was over. Well, we can check. Go here. War justifications. I'll show it was. Oh, it's the Brothers War again. Still going on. Well, it looks like Germany's in a better position now. They actually have some sort of, uh, well, allies. That's nearly done. Come on, Imperialism. Need you to be done sooner. It'll be done in March next year. So not long now. Get us more research. If I'm not mistaken, that should go up to, like, 20? Maybe not quite 20, maybe 19. 19 point five maybe something like that but that'll be a
pretty significant increase. Uh, we've got education at max. Admin efficiency could actually do with topping up just a little bit. Put up to 56, let's say. Yeah, we'll see if that changes. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, an international crisis happened. The crisis actually fired in our province. I didn't realise the uh, the flashpoint tension was that high. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good. That means that no one actually, uh, yeah, no one bothered to actually join our side, so we didn't lose anything. Perfect. I'm really tempted to design this. I have less than, uh, have less bad boy than 25. I think bad boy is infamy. Well, if I had 25 infamy, we'd be in a lot worse situation. Denmark, Denmark has socialism, really? So we have communists in uh, Denmark. That's interesting. I wonder if they'll, wonder if we'll see a communist Denmark. That'd be interesting. Uh, do we have any communists yet? Do you have a communist party? We do. We have a communist party. Uh, Partido Socialista. So we have a socialist party. Uh, rebels wise, it's looking. Okay, I guess. Still, I'm glad the flashpoint tension didn't evolve into something much worse. Imperialism is about to finish. It'll finish on the 25th, which would be good. <coughs> Get more soldiers. Mm. And what do we have? You've got two cannons. You have, I think, one cannon. Four infantry, one cannon. You need one more infantry, and we need one more cannon. So we'll get, there we go, research is done. We'll get one infantry, one cannon. Um, Bolivia, why do you want access? What about Argentina? Sure. It didn't go up as high as I thought it would. But it still went up, which is the main point. Uh, what I want now is iron steamers. And that will be done when? Be done February in two years. It's a long time. But, uh, well, have to deal with it. Really would like to get some more um, more uh, national focus points as well. I do have to research that. Get ideological thinking. Uh, how does national imperialism unlock? It's already unlocked. What about machine guns? So we've got eight years before machine guns unlocks, and that's before um, the uh, colonization rush kicks in. So who knows, you might actually make it into being a great power. I mean, we're 12th in the world, which isn't bad, taking over the Ottomans. We're almost taking over the Ottomans militaristically, which is very interesting to see. Um, we're nearly taking over the Netherlands. We're nearly, we're actually nearly there. We don't need much more. Actually, we do. Uh, now that I'll look at it again, if we just go back to that. We need to get at least 159, 160. And we are currently on... I need 20 more points. So, more prestige, I'm guessing? Favland volunteers just give prestige, so being able to click that button would be quite nice. Do we just have the Geneva Convention? Why not? We send the Geneva Convention. Lowers our infamy by one. Yeah, we can't spend as much on military, but that's not a big deal. Could build something else. Now I want to save up for some guards now, I think. Getting breech loaded rifles. So this one. Guards are quite powerful. I don't know what a good uh, ratio or composition of troops actually is, so... The way I view it is as long as we have enough troops on the front line and we have some artillery at the back, it's fine. Maybe getting some more uh, engineers wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. I really wouldn't mind fabricating on the... Uh, Bolivia again, because Argentina's trying to take a piece of the pie. Maybe just attacking Argentina, actually. Uh, we want jingoism. 
I mean, Argentina does have some very nice provinces. Go to regions. Uh, this region is quite nice. This one's very nice as well. Also, grain. And wood as well. Oops. And as you can see, our biggest import is currently grain. So, if we were actually able to have some grain, then it would be good. Uh, how are these coming along? 15% and 42%. So, not very far off. A bit more um, consciousness, I think, and that should get us what we want. Plurality is going up, which is good. Revenge? Oh, that must be if we lose cause. Speaking of cause, actually, we don't have any cause yet, which is a big problem. See this land here? No cause on it. Uh, for us, at least. Uh, the only way to get a cause is to become a great power. So, yeah, we need to become a great power. The military is really not that bad, actually. You know, it's still far behind the USA. But not by much. Uh, we want more or less. Yeah, I think I'll save up some cards. Although maybe some more engineers wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's even out this army. Create a new group. Want one of those cannons. Go up here. Join up with this army. Elections will end next well in a couple months. Just go for that one. Now then, I'm very tempted to try and fabricate a claim, but I know if we get caught day one, we will be in a very uh, deep situation. It won't be very good. It really won't be very good. But at the same time, I mean, it wouldn't take as long to, you know, get past the point where we wouldn't need to worry about it. Just a couple of, like, a couple months maybe. One, two months, and we should be okay then. We won't stay capitalism. Yeah, about two months and we'll probably be okay. But even then, I get the feeling that if I do, the game will just go, yeah, um, here. And just give me 11 infamy, which I really don't want. So we'll just have to uh, buckle down for the time being. Put the nationalists back in power. They uh, have what I want the most. I've got to wait for this to burn down. Just what? 18 more months and we'll be good. So a year and a bit. In fact, one more year and we'll have iron steamers, which will be quite nice. That'll let us get the ironclads and then let us build an absolute uh, huge number of ships to really crank up our military power. Speaking of military power, how's our soldiers doing? I'm really tempted to build another one. But no, I must hold off for breech loaded rifles. I really ought to work on more stuff here, like, yeah, more culture and com commerce and industry would be great, especially the railroads. They would help out tremendously. Speaking of, how are you all doing? Um, mm, okay, I guess. Projects. Paper mill. How is our current paper mill looking? Because I know we have one. Our current paper mill is here. Hmm. Well, it is making money, just. Oh, well, sure, we'll fund it. More factories is always nice. Help us get higher in the rankings. Even if our factories are nothing compared to the other great powers of the world. A la England has some absolutely crazy good factories. They're all like level, I don't know, level 40 or something, wherever we're all, we've only got level 1s. Um, shift click is what we want. Yeah, I didn't think anything would happen. The one in Sao Paulo has got a decent number of employees, which is very good. Still making decent money. Do want to try and increase the coal production we have though. Well, let's just keep on going along. We're twelfth in the world, which is good. Maybe some more husses wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, sure. Let's get more husses. 
Um, yeah, moralism. Spread the word. I really would like to save up for guards, but at the same time, we've still got half a year to wait, so I really don't want to. We really don't want to be waiting around for it. We might as well get them going so that uh, we can c increase our military power. Our military ranking is not bad. It's 18th in the world. Prestige-wise, we are 8th, which is less than ideal. Well, higher than Spain, at least, but I don't know how much longer that'll be for. We have to sort by Prestige. Yeah, we're ahead of Spain in that aspect. But only by a couple of points. Industry-wise, we are here. Where's Spain? So it's just military, I think, that Spain's beating us in. Yeah, just Spain's beating us militaristically. They've got a lot. I think it's capital ships as well that's adding up. Mostly soldiers and army, though. So we need to build more soldiers. We can build another one. Maybe get some more engineers, then, in that case. Got to keep making sure our military is enormous. Also, it helps for crushing our uh, neighbours. How are you all doing? How's our factory subsid subsidies going? Um, not too badly, but not great either. Could be a lot better. We're losing money, I think, because we are funding our funding the uh, military for the time being. Although I'm not liking the fact that it's dropped down all of a sudden. It gets me very concerned. Is it construction? Nope. Might just be the military. I think it's just because we're building them. Oh well, we've got plenty of uh, money left in the bank, so I'm not too concerned. There we go. Now we just need to wait for ironclads to finish and monitors. Probably want the ironclads more than the monitors, I think. Let's get some. I really would like breech loaded rifles. But I'm not sure how long it'll take. A bit longer than I'd like, I think. So let's just grab up some of the other stuff. Like admin efficiency and uh, free trade. Freedom of trade, even. That'll only take, yeah, a very short amount of time. A couple of months. Getting more factory throughput would be quite nice. Also, you know, more just more banking and things to increase our income. Also, we do need to get these. So, that's important as well. Military, we are at the max, which is fine. You have one more hustle than you should, so we'll send one over. The engineer is just fine to stay just here with this army. In fact, because he's taking the long way around, we'll just send him there. What I also wouldn't mind getting actually is more railroads. I think the railroads are slightly more important. Now really, is it the f is it the factories that are causing us to lose money? Oh, we have torpedo boats. Good, I guess. Mean. Hmm. Oh, hang on. I don't like that noise. Let's pull that back up. Fight the disease. Let's go to this again. Crisis. Anyone going to back us? Apparently no one cares. It's ours. Actually, hang on. Yeah, no one backed us. Good. Whew. I think America backed uh, Peru then for a second, but since no one backed us, no big deal. Again, not sure why we're hemorrhaging money all of a sudden. It always makes me really nervous when I see that. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Well, we're okay for now. It's only 50 some a, a day. Although, it's less than ideal. Might want to work on more tax. That regular glass factory, though, is costing a lot. This is the glass factory, actually. 
She's not producing enough coal. No thanks, I'll leave them alone for now. I think... Hmm. Need to get more out of this coal mine. Definitely. Our max output is not a lot. If we can increase that, that means we don't have to actually import it. So I'm thinking we want to grab some more coal output. Such as this one. Increase coal output by 10%. Not a lot, but it's something. That's that done. Uh, I really want to get railroads, though. Railroads are very important, and the sooner we get them, the better. Because, well, better infrastructure. And infrastructure is always really important. So we'll grab them. <laughs> Saving a bunch of points really is nice. Hmm. I still do not like seeing that, mon that uh, money leak that badly. Industrial subsidies look to be the problem. Hmm. Although a national stockpile is quite large as well. Explosives. Probably want to be careful when building too many more units now. Group up. It's getting nice and big. Big and scary. Uh, can we build, stop selecting the army? It's because it's going too quickly. Also, I think we just got more coal outputs. Let's build that fort up a bit more. Did we not build a fort down here? I thought we did. Well, let's build one here anyway. It's always important to keep the forts upgraded. Just in case. In case of rebels and things like that. Makes them harder to siege. Yeah, it costs a bit, but our economy should stabilize soon, with any luck. <laughs> Speaking of, actually, we have enough uh, infamy now to actually declare war again. So who do we go after? Well, who has the best NGO stuff? Lots of lumber, which will be really quite nice. I don't think there's any more... I think this is like the only point of call in the entire of uh, South America. Yeah, it is. By the bit in Colombia. Lots of sheep. Uh, what's got the most value on the market? Uh, rubber, but we don't have that yet. We will soon, though. Needs. I'm not sure if this is us. Hmm. I think maybe we just grab the lumber. So we all the grain even. The lumber or the grain. What region is that? It's the Cha Chow Cha Chow region. Oh, that's got a decent amount of lumber in it. Diplomacy. Uh no one really cares. Good. Acquire state. Yes please. Get our army in position. And what tech are you on, actually? I need to check that. You're on tech 6. So we are just fine. And we've unlocked ironclads. Brilliant. Let's build some. We can build 12. It's going to cost us 8,000. Actually, loads of commerce razors. Why can't we build ironclads yet? Oh, naval port. That's why. We actually need to have the naval port to build them. That makes sense. Oops. It's a slight oversight. Oh, well. More flashpoint tension. I don't think anyone will really bother. It's at 32%. Man, if it just become a great power. Nine infamy. Ugh. Hurts, but it's not too it's not too bad. Now then, how is that justification actually coming along? It's gonna be a while. And we'll just unlock the monitor as well. Which we can't build because I neglected to actually build navy ports. Build steam transports at least, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure if monitors also count towards 
being heavy ships, or cruisers at least, capital ships. Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, we'll focus on getting the railroad for the time being. Increase the speed a bit. Hmm, trying to say screen I can stay on that will keep the frame rate high. Guess not. Mm, that money problem starting to become a problem. Mm. I think we just ignore it. Eventually, it'll fix itself. As long as we don't drop like below hundred thousand, or a hundred, yeah, hundred thousand, we should be okay. How as how are the uh, forms going? How many people are angry? Not many, some Brazilian reactionaries. Suffrage movement is getting big, which is good. That'll allow us to push more reforms. Speaking of more reforms, 5%, 2%, usually it's voting. Hmm. It's getting close, it's getting close. Now then, how much longer on the thingy-majig on the claim? Be done in a hundred and thirty days. I can't do the math on that. About four months, something like that. Four or five months, so not too long. About September, November at time, we should get it. So we just sit back and relax. The Argentinian menace, they're coming right for us. Indeed they are. Even though I'm pretty sure it's we who are attacking them. Wow, thing is dropping hard. Industrial subsidies are rife. Which is not good. I think uh, it's mostly the pip mill, I'm guessing. Although we are suffering in the fabric department as well. Uh, we'll go with that one. Gain consciousness. Also, coal doesn't help either. Having no coal. Uh, we've completed railroads now, which is good. Uh, is it control or shift? I forget. Control. Control and control. It's cheaper to do it this way than actually buy them ourselves. Spread the word, get more moralism. It says zero, but it lies. It just needs like a couple extra pence. There we go. You too. Do not mind funneling money into this. There we go, we gained our claim. Research. What do we want? More coal output, honestly. But then again, well, this one will increase mining output. Although I would like to get, uh, where is it? Not sure. Navy doctrine, wasn't it? Colonial power. Yes, yeah, this one we want. So we need to start work on that. Although I do want to get obviously some more of this stuff. Get market structure. None of them are bad choices. Diplomacy. Declare war. Acquire state. I think we want the state. Well, actually, which one has the most provinces? Let's go for this one. It's got the most lumber in it. Calling allies. The USA would be a maybe, actually. But I don't think we need them. Before we do, though, you allied with anyone? Allied with Peru. Not a big deal. We'll stick an army up there and let them have fun. Go. You can march up here. You're an attacker, that's completely fine. March against the capital. We are fully funding them, well, as much as we can, thanks to the Geneva Convention. So, army um, should be okay. Suffering attrition, because it's enormous. Chase them down. 25th, 23rd, they are going to get away. Where are they going to? There. It's forest, but we have a decent attacking guy. I just want to stop suffering attrition soon. There we go. They have a three defense, but we have superior numbers. And we won handily. They're retreating to here again. Let's just chase them down. There we go. We'll just let you sit there now and siege. 
shouldn't take them too long at all. End of the month tick, we should get reinforcements. I don't think we did because we're in hostile territory. But we'll probably wait until the end of next month for our reinforcements to actually arrive. Do you want to go down there and attack him in the mountains? It's a bit dangerous, yes, but we do have superior numbers, so that should count. Now, we'll wait till the end of the month. Oh, hang on. A bit 30 minutes, so I have to end this part here. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.